started. Um, what attracted you to the project in the first place? I mean, the audition came through uh, just like any other audition I would get. But as soon as I saw that um, Jack and um, Jeff were attached to it because I was such a huge fan of Lost, I was immediately intrigued. And then I read the breakdown and I was more intrigued. And then I read the breakdown of Sarah and kind of her whole uh, story and was just like, so drawn to it and drawn to the material and um yeah and I mean a show like this doesn't come around super often so just to be able to have the opportunity to read for it in the first place was super exciting but to get this uh to get like further in the process and then to find out that I booked it was very surreal yeah Yeah. so um, even though it's a bit of a new supernatural show, how do you relate to Sarah and how are you guys different? I mean, there are definite aspects of Sarah that I resonate with. Um, I feel that like every character, I don't want to obviously speak for everybody, but for me, every character that you play is there's, there are aspects of you, um, in them and I just kind of there were there were parts of it that I had to pull from that weren't attached to me at all and then there were parts of her that I I resonate with um like her love for her family and um her love for her brother and that's kind of her driving force throughout the the season is how she wants to protect him even though she doesn't go about it the right way I definitely resonate with that and, um, and those values. Um, but yeah, there, I mean, the crazier side of her, I, uh, (laughs) had to kind of dig a little deeper to, to get to that part of it. And how did you get yourself in the headspace to play this sort of character? Is there's like certain music that you listen to things you read, things you researched? Um, I did listen to a ton of music um before I would go to set and then as I was on set as well um that was very helpful I think with different characters you kind of find different ways into stepping into their shoes and and their their life um but music was very helpful for me um and just kind of you know taking time um alone and really thinking about like where she's coming from um, and grounding myself into those circumstances and making that as um, vulnerable and uh, authentic as possible within this grand scheme of everything that's going on. What music did you listen to for Sarah? I listened to a lot of instrumental music. Um, Yeah, I think that was the thing that kind of really helped me drop into it um yeah just a lot of instrumental stuff okay and why do you think Sarah can hear voices do you think she's your own theory do you think and that you can actually give away like do you think she's possessed or do you think she's some sort of medium um I don't like to put ideas into people's heads because this is everyone's experience watching the show is going to be different and they're are no wrong answers to what everybody's interpretation is of Sarah or the town or where they are. Um, so as far as that question goes, I don't want to put some an idea in somebody's head to make them veer one way or the other because it's it's open to your experience and interpretation of what of what's going on completely. Okay. And what was your favorite scene to shoot? Oh, oh man. Um. I had so many fun scenes. I, there was one scene in episode three um, with Paul Zeno who plays Nathan. I really enjoyed, it's just this short little scene. I don't know what it was about it, but I had a lot of fun shooting that scene. Um, But I mean, I love each scene in their own way. There are different challenges to all of them, especially because she's always dealing with such um, extreme things happening to her. So that was always really fun, but 
anytime yeah anytime I got to like uh working with um my friend Chloe who plays Christy was super fun as well um yeah I mean yeah there are tons there were tons of scene that I, scenes that I've really loved shooting. If you were living in the town, would you choose to live in Colony House or within the town? I would live in the town, definitely, because I'm very regimented and I love rules and order. And I think I'd like to go to Colony House for a good time and like party there one night or something. But um no, as far as like living situation goes, I would definitely, I wouldn't last in Colony House. I would, <laughs> I would be like, this is too chaotic for me. I, I need to leave. <laughs> if you were there, do you think you would be like the people who are trying to figure out how to get out or would you kind of just accept life there? Um, I think it would be a bit of both. I think I would accept except the circumstances of where I am and what's going on, but also always trying to find a way out. I wouldn't just, you know, give up. Yeah. If you could bring anything to the town from the outside world, oh, what would be the one thing you would bring? That's a really good question. I've never thought about that before. Oh, man. That's a really tricky, tricky question because they have, they have so much stuff there already. And I don't know, maybe some sort of like, some sort of like little radio or something that where maybe if you go further that you could get some sort of reception somewhere. I don't know, some sort of like electronic maybe, hoping that I could get it to work. <laughs> Um, and the demons on the show like to take the form of a person that would entice someone to open the door. Yes. If a demon came to you, which what form would they have to take that you would actually considering letting them in? Uh, for me, Avery. <laughs> for you, Avery. Yes. I would. Um. I would. It would have to be. I think it would have to be like one of my students that I teach or my niece. Yeah, <laughs> I feel like they would be much harder to say no to than. No, I, there, would, there would be no way that I could not open the door for them. <laughs> and what do you teach? I'm a dance teacher. Okay, awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what type of dance do you teach? I teach uh, hip hop, uh, jazz, and jazz tech. Yeah, I saw on Instagram that you do dance. So how long have you been dancing? Oh, man, I've been dancing pretty much my whole life. Um, I started competing like later than most kids do these days. But it's been it's been prominent in my life for like forever. <laughs> and do you think that helps you with acting and kind of um, conveying a character? Definitely. It gives you a. Um, a lot of awareness of your body which is really important and even when you're like working with stunts or anything like that um you just yeah you have a different approach and, and awareness than than other people would I think and Harold's actually a trained dancer as well so him and I connected over that which was really cool um but yeah I it's it's def it's helpful in many aspects of of um the acting world and what did you do on set during your downtime in Nova Scotia? Oh, uh, we would we would spend a ton of time together, like all of the cast. And we would kind of I rented a car and like drove around and kind of saw that side of um, Canada, which I've never been to before, which was really beautiful. And I loved it there. Um, but yeah, just spending time kind of exploring and seeing what that the um, you know, Halifax and everything has to offer. And, and yeah, just getting to know everybody was really, it was really special to be able to have that time to connect with everyone. And without giving anything away from the first season, I haven't seen the finale yet. What would you hope to explore in season two? Oh man, I, there's so many um, opportunities to go so many different ways. 
um, that I, cause John is so brilliant, whatever, I mean, fingers crossed that we get a season two and whatever he hands to us is going to be, um, fun to explore. So I'm just going to leave that up to him because this is his brilliant show and his brilliant mind. And, um, yeah, he has all the answers. <laughs> um, and from definitely is like a psychological thriller, but there is a lot of horror parts to it. And it's a bit gory. Would, do you have a favorite horror movie? Um, I'm really like, I get scared really easily. <laughs> so I don't tend to watch a ton of horror movies. Um, but the last one that I saw because I'm feel like I'm still recovering was, par was Parasite. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's a lot. That's a pretty heavy for a horror movie. Yeah. And so, um, I mean, and that movie was so well done. Um, but yeah, I think that that would be at, at the top of my list for, for the genre. Okay. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to talk to me and best of luck and hopes for a season two. Thank you. Nice, okay. to meet you. nice to meet you. Have a good one. Thanks. Bye. Bye.